When's the perfect time to hire a real estate assistant and what should she or he be doing? Keep watching. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about when you should hire a real estate assistant, what are the tasks that this real estate assistant needs to be doing, and everything in between. So I get this question so much about when to hire an assistant, what do they need to be doing, and all that stuff. So I wanted to make this video so it could try to clarify when I think you should hire an assistant and what they should be doing. The first thing you should do if my videos are bringing any kind of value to you whatsoever, hit the like button, shoot me a comment so the YouTube algorithm We'll push it out into the universe so we can reach more agents, spread my message, and help the industry. So the moment that I hired an assistant was when I was up to 30 active listings was the moment that I was at a breaking point where I couldn't handle anymore, I couldn't do any more business. I, I saw that without an assistant, there's no way I could produce more. And I wasn't producing anywhere near what my goal was for myself, so I knew that I had to hire an assistant to do all the administrative things that I was doing to open myself up to where I could talk to more clients, build more business, do more transactions, go on more showings, go on more listing appointments, make more phone calls, all the things you need to do to build your business. All the administrative work was holding me back on a daily basis from doing those tasks. And that's when I decided it was time to hire an assistant. Now, your breaking point may be 10 listings. It may be 25 listings. It may be 40 listings. I don't know where your breaking point is, but I guarantee you, if you hire an assistant to take over the administrative part of your business, you're going to double your business pretty much overnight and this is a big big mistake that most agents make they won't hire an assistant or they hire a bad assistant and will not fire the assistant to get a better to get one that really will do the job the way it needs to be done a bad assistant will actually hold you back right it, it will create a situation where you know there's a lot of different scenarios there there's assistant that you didn't realize was drama there's assistants that you didn't realize didn't have the skills that they claim that they have. There's, you know, there's assistants that call in a lot, call in sick. They got this, they got that. They're not there, so nothing's getting done. There's assistants that are lazy, right? And they're just not getting the job done. So you gotta be careful here. Um, I think you should vet the assistant as much as possible. It's good to find one with experience in the market as a real estate, as another real estate agent's assistant. That's the best possible situation. Is if you can find Find one that has previously worked for another agent that did a good job for the agent maybe one that's still working for an agent that's looking for a different job they're just not happy where they're at they're really good so on and so that's the best case scenario but there's a lot to be said about the quality of the assistant but let's talk about agents who won't even hire an assistant hey that's a really really tough place to be because you know you all the administrative work is holding you back and if you would just hire a lot of agents say well I can't afford an assist but the thing Thing is is you can't not afford an assistant when you pay an assistant say 600 a week 700 a week a thousand a week whatever it is you, you you're going to double your business so if you're currently making 10,000 a month yeah you're making hundred and twenty thousand a year and you only have 30 forty thousand saved up you're scared to commit to a seven hundred dollar a week you know paycheck for an assistant well the thing is is that that seven hundred dollars a week is gonna take you from ten thousand a month to twenty thousand or even thirty 30,000 a month overnight. Within a two to three month period, you'll be up to 20 to $30,000 a month from that $700 a week invest. The numbers work tremendously and you have to invest back into your business. So a lot about this video is for people that don't have assistance to try to motivate them to go get an assist because it will literally double and triple your business overnight. When's the perfect time to hire an assistant? I say when you feel the pressure on your shoulders that the administrative work is holding you back from talking to more people to build more business. When you know that you should be making calls and that there are people that need your help, there's people there that need your help buying and selling properties, but you can't get to them because you have to do administrative tasks, that's the moment that you need to hire an assistant. And if you don't, you're just gonna stay right where you are. Your business will not grow without making this step. When I hired an assistant, my income went from 300,000 a year to 800,000 a year in just two years. And if I wouldn't have hired an assistant, I would have just continued making that 300,000 a year, year in and year out, 
working even harder than I work now. Because the administrative work is just not me. That work is hard work to me. That's busy work. I, that's not, I don't enjoy that part of it. I enjoy the talking to the people, negotiating the deal, showing property, going to listing appointments. I enjoy all of that, so it's not really work to me. So now I fill my entire day with what I love to do instead of the part of the business that I don't like to do and I make double and triple the money. Let's talk about what the assistant needs to be doing. So when I originally hired my assistant, I had 30 active listings. I had so many real estate agents contacting me to show these properties to their clients and setting up those showings, talking to the tenants of the property, back to the agent, so on and so forth, emailing information. They want to see, you know, taxes, insurance, utilities, all the questions and everything. I had to take all that off my shoulders immediately. So I hired an assistant just to take that part of the business off of me because I was spending all day just setting up showings and dealing with other agents, trying to show my properties, questions their buyers had, so on and so forth. So my initial reason for an assistant was to take that part of the job. Oh, once I got the assistant in place, then I gave them everything else right processing the deals dealing with the title company you know working through my office on all the paperwork picking up commission checks getting those processed depositing them into my bank so on and so forth they also do postcards and a little bit of marketing so all the administrative things that I need taken care of are taken care of so what I do every morning when I get to the office is I sit down for about 15 minutes, meditate about my business, make a list, right? Here's a notebook, here's a legal pad, here's a list I made yesterday, and I'm gonna go through this list, and then once I go through this list with myself and organize my thoughts on what my main priorities are today and what I need to do, to accomplish everything, I then turn to her and have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with her about everything on the list that I need her to do specifically. So there's always very detailed tasks that I need her to do on specific deals, this and that, to get the job done and accomplish the goals that we need to accomplish because we are a team. My assistant and I are a team to get the overall job done, which is to provide the best possible service for my clients, the best experience they could possibly have doing a real estate transaction with us. So I really don't have like a detailed this of ding 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 this is what she does because it's so sporadic right it, it's just so random every day the tasks that she's gonna do we had an assistant come from Mississippi uh, with an agent that's in the coaching program and she came over there just to shadow my assistant for a day and you know it, it's the the assistant that came to shadow my assistant she said she learned a lot just being in there feeling the energy watching what goes on. However, she didn't learn necessarily bing, 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 like a list of things that we do, you know, because every deal's different, every prospect's different, every day's different, everything's different. We have to keep everything organized right here and in our, our mind and then a list of daily tasks and that daily task list is always changing. We just gotta stay on top of everything. So I hope this video helped you. I hope it did something to inspire you to hire an assistant or or, or gave you some kind of direction with how you need to handle your assistant position. Comment below if you have any questions. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. Talk to you soon.